What you're about to hear is police officers discussing a woman who's just been strip searched. <laughs> Back in 2013, Koshka Duff says she tried to help a teenage boy during a stop and search by police. But when her intervention landed her in a cell, she says female officers assaulted her. They were, you know, grabbing at my breast. They stuck their hands between my legs. They said, um, you know, they'd ripped the piercing out of my um, ear. And then they said, oh, let's see if she's got any more. And they stuck their hand between my legs. Last year, Koshka received compensation and an apology from the Metropolitan Police for the sexist and derogatory language of the officers. But a damning new report has found that misogyny and predatory behaviour are prevalent across forces. The review team also looked at hundreds of files on the vetting of officers. There were a significant number where we thought that somebody just shouldn't have been employed, or if they were going to be employed, there should have been a pattern of uh, supervision of them greater than normal that, that just wasn't happening. I think we're safe to say that over the last couple of years, the police have employed hundreds of people uh, that we think they shouldn't have done. The potential scale of the problem raises serious concerns about public safety after Sarah Everard's murder. Her killer, Wayne Cousins, a serving member of the Metropolitan Police, had been part of a WhatsApp group with other officers who sent messages described as repulsive and misogynistic. It has to be not just a type, but a wave of change. It has to be people feeling that they can come forward, report things, and, and then when that, when that is proved and that person is proved to have done that, that wrongdoing, they need to be gone as quickly as possible. And that process is too slow. The Met says they welcome the report and will consider opportunities for learning and improvement, adding, being ruthless in ridding the Met of those who corrupt our integrity is central to Commissioner Mark Rowley's vision of reform. We are setting clear expectations of behaviour and are developing data and technology to identify those who are not fit to serve. We will succeed with a vast majority of our honest and dedicated officers and staff. Change is needed now. As the review's leader put it, officers shouldn't just represent society, they need to represent the best of it. It seems like we're a long way off that. Becky Cottrell, Sky News.